Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Canon MX922 where I'm going to show you how you can switch from the wireless setup to the wired setup. So, um, first a few words, why would you do that? The problem is that the MX922, despite it is a really good printer, it is having some issues with the wireless connection, wireless uh, LAN. So usually it's not a problem if you have a um, good router and a good setup. Uh, it can be really easy. It even has a WPS automatic connection. You can go to wireless setup. Uh, sorry, uh, here wireless setup. And it's looking for an access point, and then usually it finds a WPS access point available uh, you see WPS access point is available just press the OK here and the OK and the WPS button at the router and it should connect in probably 90 or 95 percent of the cases it does and stays connected and everything is good so when you don't have uh, the suitable uh, router or not a good setup or whatever it can be a huge problem the internet is full of problems that this printer is disconnecting every now and then let's say you're printing after an hour it says not connected or at least uh, after one day it says printer is offline pr printer has no connection or printer is in use or yeah um, quite a bunch of silly questions and so you have to find an alternate way. One of the ways is, of course, to buy a new printer or another printer. Another post, I mean, but that's uh, 70 or 80 bucks or so. Another way is to buy uh, your own router. So that makes you a little bit independent of the internet service provider's router. I had this problem because I switched from Verizon to WOW Internet and with the Verizon uh, router it was no problem at all to connect with the Canon and with the WOW Internet ser Service Provider they are using another router and the Canon is having huge problems with it. It's always disconnecting and so I tried for some time to um, work with an old router which I had, it's 10 years old, but uh, it was a little bit better, but over time I had similar issues as well. It was disconnected or it was saying it's connected, but it didn't work and, and such things. So I got tired of these problems and so I decided to choose another option and this option is to use a wired setting. So, of course, you have to use an Ethernet cable and you have to connect it. I mean, you have to connect your printer with your router. Uh, yeah, for, uh, with, with some kind of uh, Ethernet connection. There are some uh, different possibilities if you don't have an Ethernet cable which is long enough or you, if you don't have a wired home. You can use a power line adapter. I'm going to show you that. Here, that's the thing. I'm now uh, beneath the desk. And as you can see, um, yeah, here we have the connection. I mean, that's the, the, the power line connector. You need two of them, one on the printer side, one on the router side and you connect then these, um, these uh, internet, I mean, this uh, power line uh, thing, you connect it with this regular ethernet cable to your printer and on the other side to the router. And uh, usually that works pretty good. So uh, if you're interested, I'll put down the link to order that on Amazon. It's not too expensive. It's quite reliable. It's not super fast, but for a printer, it's fast enough. So in the back of the printer, there's a plug like, uh, like here. You can see that. 
there's a plug, uh, there's one plug with USB, there's one plug with, yeah, there are a lot of plugs, and there's also an Ethernet plug here. So you have to plug it in there. Oops, that was not a good idea. I have to make it this way. So, okay, uh, probably there's a, a D4 or a dummy plug. You have to remove this. Uh, there's a little uh, small thing which protects the uh, port but you will find it it's it, it's a small piece which you have to remove and then you can plug in the cable in the in the back of your mx922 printer but uh, when you when we go closer to this device you can see a problem uh hope you can see that here there are a few leds one is for i think power one is for the connection to the other power line adapter it's now red but it's sometimes it's showing red or orange when it's idle so don't worry about this uh, mostly it's it's working so but of course you have to be careful with um, installations like this usually it's not a good idea to use uh, this uh, like this uh, with this um, power cord or extender or especially don't um, plug in multiple devices so actually this should be directly uh, plugged into an outlet to have best uh, communication uh, quality so let's go back here to this thing so here on the right side here's the ether ethernet uh, led and that's offline i mean it doesn't show anything not even red and especially not green means it it's not connected so why is it not connected i don't understand why uh, canon is not doing a better job but it is as it is so you have to go to this uh menu and go down to setup and then you go to device settings and then you go to lan settings and change wired wi uh, wireless wired and we want to have wired LAN active so we, pr we go on wired LAN active and press OK so it's switching to wired OK that's everything on the printer side and now you would think that you can just start printing and especially when you see the printer in the LAN setting. So you are now on Windows 10 at the uh, Explorer so press Windows and E at the same time and on the left bottom side we have the network settings and usually you should be able to see your printer, uh, I mean the printer as a fax, printer as a scanner, printer as a, yeah, I think, I don't understand everything, but uh, the printer, it's a multifunctional device, so it, it adds it several times. So that that is looking good, actually. So you would think when you open like a notepad and uh, write test and then you go to print it would print but usually that's not the case that would be too easy so at least you have to go to your printer setting press the windows button and type printer and then press enter and you will find your printer here then what you have to do is at least click on your mx 920 printer like this and let's uh, pre uh, click on remove device and then press ok I think you have to press another ok I don't do it because everything is good now I don't want to change everything so you have to remove that it's no problem you can put it back it's not lost forever so after it's uh, removed uh, you still are on this page and then you have to click on add printer or scanner so you click on the plus sign and let it scan for the printer and usually it should find at least when you're able to detect or your computer is able to detect the printer then it should find it here 
So let's say we you, you don't see your printer here and you, uh, so that means usually there will be a message here that the network detection has been disabled and then you can click on that do you want to enable uh, press yes and then you should see your printer at least when you are in the same network if you are not in the same network if you're using different routers in your home it could be that you uh, are not seeing your printer then you have to uh, go to the, your wheel uh, to to your um, uh, to switch let's say I mean yeah it, let's say your computer is wireless uh, connected like with Wi-Fi and then you have to select the Wi-Fi which is connected to your computer with the Ethernet you have to be in the same network otherwise it doesn't work so here we are again of course it has not found a printer because I've already added this when you find it here then you can click on add and it should add the printer so add printer or scanner then you can uh, add it and usually or yeah I would say <laughs> or let's say sometimes it should work so then your printer is here again it says default printer everything is ready printer available and you can make a test you can open notepad make write test or something like that and it should print i had it a couple of times but sometimes it's not the case sometimes it does not work and sometimes just printing works and scanning does not work so how can we solve this issue so what I did, I removed also this driver uh, because I, I was not able to update this driver like from here. You can't go to the properties and then update the driver. It, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. So um, then the best thing is to uh, download the driver <coughs> if you have it like this go to the Canon website here we have the website from Canon USA just Google for Canon MX922 driver and you come to a page like this if you don't have it in your country go to the USA site it, it's, a, it's a good site and then <clears throat> hope you can see that so click on drivers and downloads and here you have the downloads and it has a couple of different ones and here it says recommended drivers so you go to download you can see that so here on the right side here it's download and you download it and you start it and then when you do the setup with this driver it should the it should open a window like this uh, and then you have to select use the printer with wire, wired LAN connection so the first time probably you have been installing it with wireless LAN or with uh, USB so select use the printer with wired LAN connection and after that some of the next pictures should be like this it should find your printer hopefully and you press next again and after that the printers page should look like this instead of saying uh, no driver it should say uh, it should have all these three things like the MX920 with a fax, uh, with a printer and with a scanner I think it should be, let's check, we have it here, at least we have the fax and the printer, do we have a scanner, I can't remember, uh, yeah we still have the old thing, driver is unavailable, that's a little bit strange and dangerous could cause some problems on the long term maybe it would be safe to remove that but I'm not 100% sure I leave it here um, 
if I have problems on the long term. So I would definitely remove that. So maybe it's a good idea um, to remove this thing before you start installing your driver. I think it would be a really, really good thing that you click on that and remove device, this device. So at the end, probably only these two things would be there. So I've tried now everything and uh, it worked. It worked for printing, it worked for scanning. So basically it works everything. So it's really, um, I thought it's much easier, but it is, you have to set up the, uh, you have to pick up the LAN or the wired settings on the printer instead of the wireless. Then you, of course, you have to add a connection with Ethernet, either a direct cable connection or something with uh, power over, uh, I mean, power LAN. Um, so you have a direct connection to your router and then you have to do this setting of, uh, of the driver on your computer. So it's a little bit um, difficult or more difficult than most, than most people would think, but it's definitely worth it if you have Wi-Fi connection issues. So with this setup, you should have a stable connection for a long time and hope that makes you happy so uh anyway i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time